picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three dimensions. Up a few scattered life signs. Above us, that's a Borg Sphere. The Tal Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. The Borg Sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the Sphere's hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Quiet in this area. Too quiet. This is disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. The Klingon Empire's intelligence services can hardly match the Tal Shiar or the cunning of Empress Sela. The most likely scenario is that you are here simply because there was a trail of breadcrumbs for you to follow. 
You still do as Sila wants, but she cannot be implicated in your actions. Your protest will do you no good in any case. I expected interference, and I have taken steps to ensure that you will not disrupt my plan. I'm not especially interested in what you will or will not permit. My only interest is proving a point to the Romulans. My people have been hounded across the stars. We have been separated from our loved ones and had our homes destroyed. Our ships have been attacked and our warriors slain by treachery. No more. We will take the fight to them and we will be free. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valiant. <laughs>
Blast the door locks. This X plan. Reinforcements have arrived and are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. We are now in the micro. IKS Azadbur is signaling us. They're going to engage the Riemann ship but they want us to take care of the fighters and plasma torpedoes. was a glorious explosion! Probably some Adaleron weapons carried aboard the ship. We are going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. So just you return to Klingon space.
Excellent. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obesek and the Romulans. If Sila is stupid enough to wage war against our own vassals, we might be able to use the conflict to our advantage. You were right, however, to destroy the Thaleron weapons. They are the tools of a coward! I would rather look my enemy in the eye as he dies. Klingon intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the basis databanks. The next step is to find out why the Remans want to attack these locations. Congratulations, General. Intelligence has decoded the list of Riemann targets that you recovered from the vault. I want you to infiltrate one of these targets and determine why Obasek would attack it. The Vahar system is still technically part of the Romulan Star Empire, but Ferengi speculators have moved in and the Empress has done nothing to remove them. The big-eared little money grubbers have reopened their minds and are now doing business with anyone with Latinum. You will go to the Vahar system under the pretense of negotiating a trade deal for the Empire. Talk to Madron, the operator of the mines. Convince him to allow you access. Find out all you can. Once we know why Obasek and the Remans are targeting these mines, then we will know how to proceed. The Remans are used to dealing with Romulans. Like an abused Targ, they now fear all who approach. I had great hopes for the Remans in the days after Shinzon's rebellion and the destruction of Romulus. They threw off their shackles and stood as the Romulans' equals. The High Council even considered an alliance with the Remans. But they were too suspicious and paranoid for much to come of it. It is better this way. The Remans' fear makes them weak. Melanie Dion and her minions may have sworn fealty to the Klingon Empire, but we did not. I feel need for no one. Leave now or be destroyed.
This moon is private property. No solicitors, beggars, or Klingons allowed. Hello, my good friend. I'm so happy to meet you. Perhaps you are in the market for some high-quality magnesite? Hmm? We have the finest ore in the quadrant. On behalf of the miners and residents here, I'm more than happy to welcome you to our home. Please, transport to the surface. Unfortunately, the large amount of extremely pure magnesite ore in the core of our little world will interfere with your sensors. For safety reasons, I must insist that you use the transporter signal enhancers that I have installed at my own expense. Also, I know Klingons are fond of their battle parties, but could you please restrict the number of crew you bring down to the surface? My people here aren't used to strangers, and you wouldn't want to disrupt their work, would you? My life, my life is unimportant. It's my brother. I can't find him. I last saw him two days ago. Madran assigned both of us to work in the upper levels of the mine. Toshin's drill bit broke, and he needed a new one. I know I should have gone with him. It's not safe to be in the mine alone. Now he's gone. There's a group of people down there who treat the mine like it's their own. I don't know why Madrin tolerates them, but they make life miserable for the rest of us. They steal and terrorize the weak. I once saw them dragging a woman to the lower levels and I, I, I never saw her again. She wasn't the only one. Many people have disappeared. I thought if my brother and I kept our heads down that we would be safe, but Maybe they took him. Murderers. Murderers. If they killed my brother, I'll kill them all! If you go into the mine, watch for the silver spheres. There are creatures in the dark. Devils. They're made of stone. Nothing can hurt them, and their touch burns. I've seen them moving around in the tunnels. Anywhere you see the Silver Spheres, the monsters are not far away. What can I say? We exist. I'm mine because there's nothing but rocks on this forsaken planet. If I'm lucky, I dig enough ore to make my quota and Madrin pays me. If he pays me, I can eat and have a warm place to sleep. If we don't make our quotas, there's nothing. Even if I do have latinum, most of it goes to Madrin to pay my debts. 
and the rest he takes in exchange for the supplies he imports. I would leave, but I owe too much to Madryn to ever earn enough to buy my passage off this place. Besides, where would I go? Every morning, the first thing I do when I wake is curse that Ferengi's name. Madryn found this moon about two years after the destruction of the homeworld. Most of our equipment was broken or useless, the supplies were gone, and we were starving. After some negotiations, Madryn had his contract, and we had food. We're supposed to be working with him, but he's the only one who benefits from our labor. Madryn owns the only working ship here, so no supplies come in without him. He negotiates all of the ore contracts, so most of the latinum goes into his pocket. And he sets the prices for food, medicine, and equipment. So everyone here owes him more than we can ever repay. He owns us now. I hate him for that. But I can't live without him. A few people tried to take Madrin's ship once, when he was sleeping off the Tranya he drinks. It has a biometric lock. Nothing on the ship responds to anyone but him. So what would we gain by fighting? A moon full of rocks and no one to sell them to? No food and no way to get more? No way to leave and no hope? I hate Madryn, but because of him, my children don't cry out in hunger or shiver from the cold. The Empire? <laughs> what Empire? Our Empire turned to dust with the loss of the homeworld. If you're rich or in the military, then maybe there's something. I hear the people in Sila's Shining City and the Raytor system live quite well, as long as they obey her commands. For the rest of us, there's nothing but dust and regret. My life, my life is unimportant. It's my brother. I can't find him. to welcome you to Hathar. As you can see, we don't have time for pleasantries. And I'm not sharing my Tranya stash with you. So, why don't we skip the chit-chat and get down to business? Unfortunately, I cannot call this my my own. I'm just a middleman. Mm -hmm. Out of the goodness of my heart, I help the residents here pass on the products of their hard work to commercial entities such as yourself. The minuscule transaction fee and trade tariff I keep to offset my expenses is figured into the unit cost of the ore. <clears throat> my operation has become one of the best in the area because of the high demand for my services from both sides. I provide the best mining equipment and supplies in the sector to the miners, while my customers get competitive pricing on the ore they need. I don't pay much attention to that. Miners have empty carts, and they return with ones filled with ore. If you're... 
If you're that interested, you could visit the mines themselves. But I don't recommend it. It's such a dirty, disagreeable business. And I'm convinced that breathing ore dust for too long is terrible for you. The miners who live near my quarters used to keep me up night after night with their dreadful coughing. I had to install soundproofing just to get some sleep. Are you sure you wouldn't rather have... Are you sure you wouldn't rather look at the ore I have for sale? Really? Get yourself. Just remember, I have an exclusive contract to export magnesite ore from this moon. If you try to cut me out of your deal, you'll regret it. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to anyone. I'm on the run. And if those thugs see me talking to you, then you'll be in danger too. I need someone who's not afraid of a fight. There's a group here that's beating and stealing from us. Madrin doesn't do anything to stop it. For all I know, he's getting a cut of everything they take. They're making life miserable for all of us. Would you be willing to help? There's a group of bullies that have been stealing from us. If we don't give them what they want, they beat us. I had a friend. All he was trying to do here was feed his family. Be a good man. He had an old bottle of ale. He said it was from a home world. One of those thugs wanted it. Now, my friend is dead. I'm too weak to stop him, I know that. And now I have my friend's children to feed in addition to my own. But if someone, if were to teach them a lesson, this camp would be a better place for all of us.
Thank you. Those guys have been giving everyone a lot of trouble. These thugs are part of a larger group that operates deep inside the Magnesite mine. They control the lower levels, and no one who goes down there uninvited ever comes back. I don't know what's so important down there that's worth hurting us to protect it. Maybe if you went down there, you could get some answers. to go in the mine? Are you really interested in buying any magnesite? Or are you just here to cause trouble? Because if it's the latter, I know someplace you can start a little ruckus. Huh? There's a gang that controls the bottom levels of the mine. They don't even let me in there. Previously, I allowed them to keep their little kingdom in exchange for information. But lately, They've been more trouble than they're worth. And the intel they're feeding me is useless. Honestly, who doesn't know about the green invasion of the Perry space? What do you want? This area is restricted. Only people my friends and I like me enter. And I don't like you! You don't belong here. I'm done talking with you. Leave now! Or suffer the consequences. What do you want?
With all due respect, sir, there is a difference between protecting the Empire from her enemies and provoking There is much here you do not understand, Jessica. The Remans need to know their place. As do you. I will not forget your insubordination, Commander. The Tal Shiar has no place for officers who cannot follow orders. I'll be in the command center. Colonel, they were civilians. Their blood is on our hands. Get used to it. There will be more. Speaking of which, why don't you clean out the brig before you become a resident there? I almost feel sorry for you, but I have my own neck to worry about. I'll be joining you in there soon enough. If Hakib has his way, we all will.
Enough! I surrender! I value my life more than the Tal Shiar's secrets. I'll tell you anything you want to know. But first, you must tell me why you are here, and what you want. The Remans know about this base? Impossible! Only the leadership of the Tal Shiar know we're here. The Empress herself couldn't find us. I don't believe you, but it makes no difference. This is not a military installation. We listen and record here. Nothing more. There are many targets that those Remen scum would find much more tempting. Are you sure you want to end things like this? Where did you find this place? What else do you know? No matter. You won't be revealing anything to your superiors. It's disappointing I cannot give you a proper interrogation. But I have much to do with little time. The self-destruct sequence has begun. This base will be your tomb. Have you done it to my mind? Tal Shiar? I'm shocked! I had no idea. I certainly wouldn't have sent you down there if you... Hey, you didn't happen to find anything valuable down there, did you? Because if you did, remember, I have an exclusive contract.
And what's it to you? This is a rough area of the quadrant, you know, and they're good neighbors. If you're not easily embarrassed, the cameras and listening devices are everywhere. I haven't had a single problem with Orions or Herodians since they moved in. And it doesn't hurt that I acquired the odd bit of information here and there. I'm a businessman, and information is big business. Unfortunately, no. I'll admit, I was trying to find out, but their systems were locked down tight. I'm sure whatever it was had to be big news. Everyone was on edge. Janet and Hakeem were barely speaking, and I once heard Hakeem mumbling something about orders. Some... someone's been pulling his strings, but I don't know who. I do know that Tal Shiar takes security very seriously. If you manage to pull any files from their system, you can expect them to be heavily encoded. Trust me on that. I speak from experience. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go talk a hundred Romulans into digging a new mine to replace the one you destroyed. My profit margin for this month is ruined. Obasek is justified in his anger. The Tasha records you recovered from their listening post indicate that they have been tormenting the Remans for months. Their bases have been attacked, their ships destroyed, and their families killed or imprisoned. There is no more honorable reason to pick up a blade than to defend your home and family. However, Obasek was willing to use Thaleron weapons to destroy a handful of Tal Shiar operatives. Using a hammer to swat a globfly is not the warrior's way. It is madness.
Congratulations.